Good evening, brothers and sisters. Good evening, po. For this worship, it's not actually the run-of-the-mill worship that uh, we usually do. Then, sa uh, uh, prayer meeting time natin, um, we will probably read some words and then have the singing. Uh, but in the singing, feel free to sing. But Gretel will unmute all of you para po hindi magkaroon ng feedback. And then we will worship in our own homes. Okay? Dami nating realization dito sa uh, nangyaring uh, crisis wherein most of us are actually confined in our homes. And um, even for us, for example, uh, we were taught to go back to our basics. Um, for example, sa mga doktor, bawal na sa amin mga nakaporma. Uh, we, are, we went back to being in scrub suits. Walang jewelries, bawal ang relo, ang uh, necklace, and everything dahil kakapitan siya ng virus. So, that just uh, brings us to our feet and to the ground. And then, uh, the Lord is teaching us a lot of lessons. And um, during these times, uh, when we pray, we pray, um, we bow our heads in surrender to our Lord Jesus Christ. But during ascension, we lift our praises to God. We lift our heads to the sky because when we lift our head to the sky, we look at hope. Uh, we see hope and then we believe that there is hope after this. And this is the essence of the Lord's ascension uh, that we will be celebrating tomorrow. As I read the word from Acts, when they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by His own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When He had said this, as they were looking on, He was lifted up, and a cloud took Him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. So let's lift our hand, let's lift our head. To heaven as we praise and glorify his name. We lift up our eyes to Jesus uh, because when we lift our eyes, it's actually an act of hope. And um, 
we, we do not lose hope in this time now uh, with this crisis um the more we pray and then we gather together and even uh, um the quarantine itself will not prevent us from gathering like this someone 18 is actually uh, dedicated to glorifying the lord um blessing him because he has blessed us always um all throughout these times um kahit na sobrang hirap we still give blessing to our lord jesus christ because we receive everything from him uh, he has shown his faithfulness to all of us and then he continued to bless all of us I don't know about you, but uh, uh, during this um, lockdown, I was sharing to Lisa na mas naintindihan ko ngayon yung Trinity. Um, dati, natatakot tayong tanungin ng isa sa mga kinakatakutan kong tanong yan ng born again because sabi nila Trinity is not found in the Bible. Um, the word per se, yes, it's not found in the Bible. But um, during this time, um, when you have more time to read the Bible and you have more time to contemplate and to meditate um, every single day, um, then we realize that, yes, the Trinity is in the Bible. And uh, kaya ang ganda-ganda nung picture ng ating logo, nandun si Lord, nandun yung Holy Spirit, and the, the Trinitarian God, comes one after the other. Uh, in Old Testament, of course, God the Father, and then after that, God the Son, and then sabi ni Jesus, I and the Father are one. And then ngayon, recently, as we come nearer to the um, uh, Pentecost, na puro acts yung reading, then I realized when God said, it is better for you that I will leave, because if, if I don't leave, the Advocate will not be coming. So after ni God the Father and then God the Son, pagalis ni God the Son, it's the Spirit that comes. Um, these are one of the many blessings I think that came out of this, and um, we come to realize a lot of things. And then mas na na appreciate natin yung yung family, mas na appreciate natin yung community, uh, and all of those things. And I'm so glad. That with all of this, we continue to pray, we continue to worship, and uh, our nation is actually better than the other nations. We have less cases, and um, um, lalo na dito sa Baguio, um, we're a lot better than other areas. And uh, for this reason, it's it, the reason for this is because we've been praying a lot and we've been gathering in different places. 
if um, churches were closed, God God created churches in our homes. So let's all worship Jesus uh, and exalt Him and give thanks to His presence in our lives despite not being able to gather together. glory be over all the earth. We praise and thank you, O Father, for this wonderful opportunity. We thank you for gathering us um, and allowing us to give worship to your name, giving thanks for all the blessings that you have given us all throughout these times of crisis. We thank you, O Father, for putting up churches in our homes not being able to gather as one family in the prayer meetings, but you allowed us to pray together as one heart and as one soul, as one community, as one family. We glorify your name, O Jesus, for we know that you have allowed this to happen, to teach us a lesson and to make us grounded in your love. We ask you, O Father, that as we face these challenges ahead of us, the new normal, you will continue to bless us. You will continue to be the bond that draws us together as one community. We ask you, O oh Father, to bless us, to shower upon us your grace and uh, to give us the health so that we will continue to serve in your name. 
This we ask in your most powerful name. Amen. Name Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.